Well, the field is set. Republican Dan Bishop now going to be taking on Democrat Dan McCready for the redo election there in the 9th Congressional District. And today, the start of the new race added yet another bizarre chapter to the District 9 Congressional battle. A day after winning the Republican primary, Dan Bishop called a news conference right in front of his opponent's office 30 minutes before Dan McCready was supposed to speak. Bishop brought an interesting prop with him. Yeah, NBC Charlotte's Rachel Brown. She's over in the newsroom with more on what both candidates had to say today. Looks like we're off and running in this race, Rachel, once again. Yeah, we sure are, Bill. So this was pretty unusual. You guys just said it. Republican Dan Bishop called that impromptu news conference just 30 minutes before uh, Dan McCready was supposed to hold a news conference of his own. Bishop spoke to the media just outside of McCready's Charlotte office alongside a life-size cardboard cutout of his competitor. You might remember this special election was ordered after election fraud was discovered in Bladen County. Mark Harris, who seemed to have won the race back in November, chose not to run again, opening up the field for Republicans. State Senator Dan Bishop won decisively in every county in the 9th District. Meantime, Democrat Dan McCready has known for months that he would be on the ballot again. He has been able to raise nearly $3 million for this campaign. In their dueling news conferences today, the two men both criticized the other for not answering questions on the real issues. To the voters of the 9th District, you deserve to know what you're getting in your next Congress. I'm the right Dan. I'm clear where I stand on the issues. Wrong Dan, he won't stand up for you. Senator Bishop will not even give North Carolinians a straight answer. Will he or will he not support repealing the Affordable Care Act? Look, we are not going to fix what's wrong with Washington until we change the kinds of people that we send there. We cannot afford to send another insider career politician like Senator Bishop to Washington. We need to send people to Washington who will put country over any political party and people before any political agenda. That's what this race is all about. So this battle continues. The general election will be held September 10th. Bill? All right, Rachel, it's going to be an exciting time up until then, for sure. Thank you.